Hello everyone, this is Sheila. Is your garden an endless battle scene against mealybugs every single summer? Then this video is for you. So let's jump in. Key point number one, the best time to deal with mealybugs and its cousins is while the days are cooler. Mealybugs love it dry and warm. That's why we want to start working on prevention while we are still in the cooler months and they are not as prolific yet. There is also something about the combination of cooler days and my favorite oil mixture that you need to know and I'll discuss that in a bit but for now let me give you key point number two which is to groom your succulents and again while the weather is still cool and we still have rain and the early mornings are quite moist since mealybugs love it dry leaves that are drying at the base of the succulents is one of their favorite nesting grounds Removing dry leaves will deprive them of their favorite hangout. I will have a separate video about how to groom your succulents, so make sure to tap that subscribe button and hit the bell icon after to make sure that you won't miss future videos, okay? Now, why do we need to carry out the preventives on cooler days and how? The answer is in key point number three, which is while the temperatures are below the 90s, apply a mixture of mineral oil. My personal favorite is this All Seasons Horticultural and Dormant Spray Oil. I love this concentrate because it's super effective and it helps fight other bugs too. Now here's an important piece of information. Don't expect to use it in all seasons even if it says all seasons and use year round on the label. This is very important. Why? If you would use this on hotter days, such as in the middle of summer when it can go up to the 90s, your succulents could fry and suffer leaf drop. Later in this video too, I will share a regular household solution that helps a lot if you already have a full-blown infestation. And how did I learn all of these tips? I'll be showing you old footages of some crazy mealybug infestations that I had in the past so I learned all of this the hard way. You'll be seeing those footages as we go along, but for now, let me just show you this moving live mealybug right now. This guy is an early bird, or should I say an early bug. I found this guy about a week or two ago, which is way ahead of summer. The presence of ants and this white powdery substance are two of the ways to tell if mealybugs are present. They attract ants too. So why bother with dealing with mealybugs, aphids, and scales in the first place? The biggest reason is that mealybugs and aphids can disfigure even the most perfect looking succulents out there. Let me show you this. This is a normal older leaf and these leaves are newer deformed ones. In fact, one way to determine whether there are mealybugs within the tight spaces in those rosettes is when you start noticing that the younger leaves are misshapen and are looking pulled or twisted out of its proper shape. So if you want your succulents to be perfect, make sure you know what you are dealing with. As you can see, these mealybugs are easy to identify. They have this very dry, white, cottony, powdery coating that protects them from water and moisture. So if you think that blasting them off with water would work, I guarantee you that it won't. So key point number four, as promised, if you already have a full-blown infestation, you can use this regular household solution, which is 70% isopropyl alcohol to penetrate through those white cottony powdery coating. So water can't get to them, but alcohol can. For preventive and treatment though, I would still go for this solution. I have a link in the description in case you wanna check it out. Key point number five, live ladybugs that you can purchase online is another option. They feed on mealybugs and aphids or aphids. I also have a link to these guys in the description below. Key point number six, the best preventive measure to fight mealybugs is to keep your succulents healthy by making sure that they are properly watered and fed. If you want to learn more about watering in plant food, you can always click the link up here. Just like humans, healthy succulents have a way to ward off infestation. 
If you would look here, this succulent is the only one that shows infestation, while the rest are clear of pests and are healthy. At this point, you may click out of this video or stay to listen to my message for you today, which is when we fail, get rejected and deprived of something good, we are being directed to something better. Wayne Dyer said, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Thank you. This is Sheila again, your person on a mission for succulent fame, sending inspirations your way with every succulent. Remember to subscribe and share this video.